Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Amna Hussein, board certified pediatrician, board certified lactation consultant, and mom to two. Today we're going to be talking about key sign language terms to know when communicating with your child. Now I'll be really honest, I didn't actually know too much sign language, actually hardly any sign language at all, until I had my second daughter. And that was something that I tried to learn actually because it was a great communication tool, not just for her, but also for me. When you think about it, children aren't usually able to say their first word until about 12 months of age, but they are still able to communicate with their hands, with their mouth, and enunciate and start doing some gestures, like maybe even pointing or waving hello. And so it's a great time to start teaching them gestures like sign language to help them communicate. And that can actually keep frustrations at bay when they're trying to let you know that they want something or that they're hungry. So I want to give a disclaimer here. I'm not ASL certified. Everything here is self-taught, but in my opinion, as a parent and as a pediatrician, these are five terms along with some bonus ones I'll throw in that I think are really important to teaching to your child. All right. So the first one you maybe already saw me do, but it's actually more. So this is the sign for more. I think this is a great sign to teach because it could be more food. It could be more drink. It could be more snack. It could be more playtime. It could be more of really anything. And so it's a great tool that your child can say like more or I'm enjoying whatever we're doing if it's playtime and they want to keep doing it. The next one is want and want is actually just like this. Want is nice because again, it's a great way for them to communicate want something and that want could be something to eat. So this is the third sign I think is really important. So eat. So you could say eating food. So want eat or more eat. So if they're trying to tell you something that they want to eat something more now, do know that it's very hard for children to put two signs together in a row, especially for a one year old child. Usually even putting two words together is something we don't see until they're two years of age. But I'm just trying to say that this is great ways for them to really piece together different phrases and try to let you know what's something they want to know. So eat is the third sign and then drink is the fourth sign. So this would be drink. So we've talked about more, we've talked about want, we've talked about eat, and we've talked about drink. Now, obviously those are all sort of things like I want this, more of this, but what about if they're done eating? All done all done and you might already see kids do that. In fact, that was something I was already doing with my first and I had no idea it was even sign language, but all done and actually you might see your kids do that pretty frequently. Now I did talk about some bonus words. So let's go back to drink. So when they're drinking, water is a good one to say. This is water, so it's almost like, you know, W, water. And then milk is actually a good one to know too. And that's honestly just like milking a cow, like almost like milking an udder. So that's a good one to know as well. It might be a little difficult for your child, but I think it's a great way to communicate, especially like, for example, if I'm nursing, I could even say like this and you are saying water and you're able to communicate to maybe your partner or your spouse that you want something, but you're, you know, maybe not wanting to wake up your child if they're sleeping in your arms. So again, these are really nice handy terms to know if you are communicating in sign language with your child. Other important ones that I think are nice to know is mother. So that's mom, mother, and usually it's good to know that anything that's towards the bottom half of the face close to the chin is usually feminine, having to do with mom, and then father is up here. And so anything that's sort of towards the top half of the face is more masculine. So again, mommy and daddy. Those are some signs that I think are very helpful to know. Again, I am not ASL certified. I think I got these pretty much on point, but as a pediatrician and mom, these are the ones that I have been working with to learn for myself, but also with my child to help them communicate. And again, keep frustrations at bay and allow them to still communicate if they're not even able to totally enunciate their words. Some things you might not know. So we've already talked about signs towards the bottom of the face and the top of the face and what they might mean. But other things are you may want to try to move your signs a little bit closer to your mouth. And again, I hope this is still in line with ASL and hopefully not breaking code too much. But when I'm saying more, I try to actually put it close to my mouth more, more. So she can also see my mouth and see me saying the word more or want, want. And again, this is me communicating with my child. Hopefully she's able to not only fixate on the movement, but also fixate on my mouth. So all done, all done. And I'm really trying to have her focus on my mouth and what words I'm saying. 
I think that's really helpful for when I'm trying to get her to say mom, like mommy, mama, and she's really focusing on my mouth when I'm saying it, same for water. And if you don't know this already, but I mentioned it in my last video, sign language actually does count as a first word. So if your child is doing this and not even totally doing that more sign and bringing them together, but even just like trying to make that gesture, then that can actually count as a first word as well. So again, just another communication tool in your toolkit. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, give it a thumbs up. If you have some tips for me and good gestures to know when it comes to sign language, let me know in the comments below because I'm learning right along with you guys and I think this is a great tool. All right, I hope you have a great week. Bye everyone.